for when you're bending something. What could possibly go wrong with it? Well, one of the things that could go wrong is you're trying to do something and you don't have the right tool for it. So trying to bend this piece of pipe, get a 90 degree curve in it, or even just a 45, and even using heat on it, and just trying to stay ahead of the curve and keep heating and just a gentle little pressure as I'm bending. And what you'll see when I turn this off is this is what happens when you try to bend something without the right tool. So just you know, clamp it in a vise, heat it up with a torch, bend it, piece of pipe, not going to work. Won't work that way. You need a bender, hydraulic bender. So you have a hydraulic bender. What could possibly go wrong with that? I mean, come on, it's a hydraulic bender. It bends pipe. That's its job. But because I didn't have the right size die, or shoe, I think it's called, inside, to fit this diameter snugly, per, you know, the, the way it's supposed to work, the die in there is too big. So what happened? It starts to flatten out a little bit. It starts to get a little bulge in the sides, starts to flatten out at the top as you're pulling everything sideways. So yeah, it does it, but not really. Not the best way. So that's another thing that can happen. You got the wrong equipment got the right machine, you have the wrong tools. So this is my little uh, stock bender. I got it over at Harbor Freight a long time ago. I think it was like $69 or something like that. What could go wrong with this? <laughs> it's really, really easy. Even if you put a mark on your metal, you know, I want my bend to be right there, all right? If you line that mark up right with the middle of the roller, in, right in between your two uh, fulcrum points, that's what I did wrong. I measured wrong, put my mark in the wrong spot. I didn't have enough metal sticking out of the other end to be able to make my turn all the way around. So measure correctly, measure twice, three times, then mark it. Another little problem you can have, I've got plenty of metal, I've got plenty over here, but this roller is in the wrong position. It's too far out. It didn't let me come all the way back around to where I wanted to make that nice 180 degree turn, that radius of that die right there. Another little thing that can happen is, well, let's say you're just trying to shape it a little. You know, you want to put a little curve into that piece of aluminum. This is an uh, eighth inch aluminum. And my air shaper here, and what I wanted to do was, let me just hammer on this a little bit and show you a couple of little things that could happen. It's going to get deformed. It's going to get all bent out of shape, not the way I want it to. It's also going to get thin. So let me do that. And that's kind of what happens when you're not paying attention to what you're doing. You might have the music turned up a little too loud in these, you know, and you're just kind of having, having a little fun. Then you lose your shape. You wind up with something you didn't intend to have to begin with. And you can see how thin it got right here on the edge, you know, moving, the, moving the metal off of the anvil. And what's also happening here is all of that hammering is now raising the temperature here. It's getting hot. You beat on it, it gets hot. The hotter you get it, the more brittle it can become. And then not only is it thin, but now it's brittle and now it can break. Know your equipment, know your metal, know what you're trying to do. Have the right tools, the right machines, and the right headspace. But probably the most important thing you should have from all of this, the most important tools you should have, pair of safety glasses, hearing protection, you know, gloves, as long as you're not around rotating machinery, you know, protect yourself, guys. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. You get the chance, reach up there and hit that notification bell so you, you know when I do something strange, <laughs> I mean useful, and don't forget to give me a like. I'll see you all next time.